Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This beautiful Sunday. This is Hope from Hope's Heavenly Creations. Um, I'm going to do a DIY today. It's actually for my stepdaughter. Um, I am going to make a glue gun holder like this one. Um, let me see if you can see this better. Um, I made this a while back. Um, it's got the little box here that I put on. I decorated my own way for to hold the uh, glue sticks. And it has the arch for the glue gun, which is supposed to be this way. <laughs> and then I added a little mirror. You can add a piece of like glass, whatever you want, um, to catch the um, glue. So you can just peel it off when you're done because you don't want it falling on your plastic, your um, fabric. So yeah, this is the little holder I made that holds my glue gun and glue sticks for me. So I'm going to recreate one for my little stepdaughter. Um, so you'll need, um, I have an extra mirror from other crafts, <coughs> scissors. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just leftover cardboard that I had hanging around. Um, what I did for the fabric for this glue gun, because um, I didn't want to, all I had left is that fabric on mine. And, you know, she's 11. She doesn't want that. So I bought one of those satin bags um, from Dollar Tree. They're really good quality. They're like a satiny sheen look. Um, cut cut it up this was actually the bottom part and these are the sides and I'm going to um, use this fabric um, for her glue gun uh, holder glue gun, glue gun holder so you'll need some type of fabric if you want to use um, contact paper it's up to you um, I have my exacto knife my craft knife um, because it's hard to cut through the cardboard um, so I have that. I have a ruler. <clears throat> um, I'm really not going to measure it. I didn't measure last time. I just eyeballed it. It's up to you. Um, but I'm just going to do the same as I did. I'm just going to pretty much eyeball the pieces. Because we'll only need um, one, two, three pieces um, to complete it. So that's that. Pencil. Let's draw my lines. E6000 glue. I'm going to use that for the um, mirror to make it more permanent. So, yep. So, that should be all we need to do this. So, let's get started on that. Okay. I'm hoping you guys can see everything that I'm doing. That's, that should be better. Um, oops, sorry about that. So. That's what we'll be doing for that today. I'm, I'm hoping um, that I get more subscribers. I'm still trying to get to that 100 mark. Um, so I'm hoping I will get more subscribers. Um, hopefully you guys like this video and my other videos. And you can give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe. And if you hit the bell notification, you will know whenever I have a, a new DIY or I do like my little Dollar Tree hauls or Walgreens hauls. Um, 90% of it has to do with crap, so, okay, let's get started on this, so, what I'm going to do is cut a piece of my cardboard for, this will be the base of the glue gun, uh, sorry, glue gun holder, so this is going to be the base of it, so I'm just going to draw a little straight line going across my cardboard, um, for the width that I want, so, um, it's really pretty simple, the uh, craft, I mean, it's not, it's not too hard. Okay, so now I've drawn a line, I don't know if you can see that well. The pencil went through a couple times, but there's a line, fade line. So I'm going to use my ruler as well, and my X-Acto knife, my craft knife, to uh, cut a um, straight line on the cardboard. It's just easier to use this, uh, again, than the scissors. 
Because I don't want to, you know, uh, bend the cardboard, you know, to all kinds of different. Get it going here. Yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> um, as y'all know from my previous videos, uh, I have to kind of do videos when I have uh, some free time from my uh, 18 month old grandson uh, being in the room. So I cut that, and I'm just going to clean up the sides here a little bit with my scissors. Um, you're not going to see it or anything, but, you know, I just don't want bumps and whatnot of the, uh, you know, show it to the fabric. But, yeah, so anyhow, as I was saying, I have to do my crafts and whatnot, and uh, the little man is napping. Um, because he loves to be gray, and I cannot do any of this with him uh, in the room because he's way too uh, curious. He's still at that curious, curious stage, so I have to do this, uh, you know, well, either he's gone with mom or dad, or he's uh, napping, so. I'm also doing a uh, collaboration, an open collaboration right now uh, for the St. Patrick's Day um, project. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but uh, yeah, you can't, we're not supposed to spend more than $10 and, you know, just come up with something real crafty and cute for St. Patty's Day. And I've already bought my things like days ago. It's from like the 25th till the uh, March 3rd. So like the same day, you know, I heard about it, I went right out and bought uh, four items. Well, it's actually four dollars worth of items because, uh, you know, it's Dollar Tree, a lot of some things, it comes in uh, like four or five, so in one package. Okay, so that's our base right here. That's my base, which will be, <coughs> pardon me, which will be this part, sorry, this part of our, um, glue gun holder so it's this the main the main base okay so that's that so what I'm gonna do is just write for a moment I'm gonna write base bottom base on my cardboard just so I don't get them mixed up okay now what we're gonna do is cut a piece of cardboard to create this now if you see this part it goes here up and then to the very end so it's the length of this but you see how we have this peak so we're gonna have to make that much extra you know like I said I, I, I eyeballed it but what I'm gonna do is just kind of put this onto my cardboard and I'm gonna look to see if uh, it's um, long enough um, to have you know a little peak with it as well if you don't don't um, stress about it because you can always just cut again the base part another base part um, you know like this piece and then just do a separate piece of this do you know what I mean like we can meet them you can meet them together there so if you can't do it all in one piece do not fret which will be okay um, see because you're gonna take that cardboard and just leave a little thing at the so you can glue and this will be like what it'll look like on your board see so I could always shorten the base part to make this see how this will go here um this I'm not using this piece specifically but um okay so it'll go like that we will place it like that and have a peak because we're going to cut a little hole here before we obviously glue it on. But um, you see how it doesn't meet? That's perfectly fine. If you're doing this, you could just make it shorter. It doesn't have to be long. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, 
This is the base, though. So I want to, let me remove this one, create that little peak part for uh, your glue gun to sit on. So, I'm going to take my pencil, draw another line. Um, so we need this, your base, because it needs to be, it doesn't have to be the song, but it needs to be the same width of your base, okay? So, let me mark this. I'm going to draw my line. one or not, but my exacto knife is always getting loose. Getting loose. You know what else I do that's awful? I always cut it my little wet <laughs> wood, so I have like so many um, things. You know what? I apologize. I didn't realize that this TV was even on. I completely apologize. Oh, I'm telling you. Sometimes I'd lose my head if it weren't attached. Okay, so now we want to get this off of here. Wow, I hope that that uh, TV didn't go over me speaking, because that's annoying. <laughs> I apologize for that. I wasn't paying any attention to that TV. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So, see? Voila. Voila, 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 voila. Same thing. So I'm going to take a piece I just cut and clean it up with my scissors. Um, like we did the first one. Um, so yes, I'm still trying to, as I was saying, get um, up to 100 subscribers. I believe I'm at like 674. Um, when I do hit 100 subscribers, um, I will have a $10 giveaway. Um, now, I haven't, I'm going to let you guys decide um, if it should be where I give away $10 worth of craft items, different, different you know, just mixed up craft items, or... Um, which would be brand new, of course. Or um, a $10 Dollar Tree gift card. Um, so I'll let you guys decide that. Um, so yes, again, I need you guys to subscribe, sub subscribe, subscribe. And then as I go up, um, hopefully, by God's will, um, I will get, people will just keep subscribing. Um, each hundred that I get to, I'm going to do that amount. Like when I get to a hundred, it'll be $10 giveaway, $200, $20 giveaway, so on and so forth. And again, I'll let the, uh, let you guys decide if it will be items or gift cards. Um, okay. So now we have the piece done for our arched part that goes onto our, um, base part. So what you want to do is remember I showed you this one where it's got the little arch that's what we want to do with this thing so I'm gonna use my ruler and put it at that little remember there's a little bend so I'm just gonna make a little bend here with my ruler because this cardboard I have is strong okay so that'll be my bend that's for you know to glue it there then I need to get an arch going on here help me <laughs> wow my goodness this cardboard is super strong I guess that's good it'll last us for a while but okay come on hope get it together there we go 
There we go. So you see that? Voila, voila, voila. So obviously we're going to cut this down um, to make it even, you know, even, even, even um, when I'm done. So you don't want it like this. That's not what we want. You want it to be wide, this part, because this is, we're going to cut out a little um, divot um, for the gun to sit in. So you want it to be a little wide because you want that extra support. If it's like this, I mean, it's not going to hold it. So we're going to do it like this. That's how you want it. So this is complete, this one. But now we have to do our little nodule thing here, as I'll show you here. This. This is what we need to complete. So that is our next mission, ladies and gents. So I'm going to draw a circle on, sorry. Wow, this just isn't working out today. Um, one moment. There we go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Could have done that all along, huh, guys? Sorry. <coughs> Anyhow, so on this part right here, this little peak, you're going to flatten it, and on that peak, uh, draw a circle. So, I'm just going to draw a circle. Um, again, you want it to be, you know, big enough. Like such. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see my circle? Eesh. So see where I bend it? See? Well, that's that. And then we're going to take our craft knife. Exacto knife. Knife knife. Sharp knife. And cut the... Go around and take the circle out of the cardboard. Again, this will be the where the uh, glue gun sits. Um, I, I love this glue gun holder. Um, I've seen a couple other people make them. I made this a long time ago. Mine. Um, and then, this is before I was even uh, doing videos or uh, I was on Pinterest then. Um, I believe that's kind of where I got the idea of Pinterest. But anyhow, I was a Pinterest fanatic and um, literally lived on it daily. So I made this glue gun. And then all of a sudden, when I first started noticing, uh, like, YouTube, the crafting and all that, I saw it on there. And I was like, my goodness, I should have, uh, you know, done that a while ago. So, but that's okay. I'm doing it now. <laughs> And I'm putting a little spin to it because, you know, like I said, I, I'm using a, all Dollar Tree items. Um, and, like, the cardboard, it's spare cardboard. But, uh, you know, everything down to my scissors. Well, except this little thing. Um, it's from Dollar Tree. Yep. That it is. The mirror I'm using is uh, just mirror from... One of the square mirrors, the candle holder mirrors that Dollar Tree has. I had to cut it because I did uh, mirrored my own dresser. So I had cut them down and, yeah, that's that. Um, okay. So there's my circle. There's my arch. See? Bonito. Um, yeah, I need to cut this one down a little more. It's not too even with my other side. So, yeah. So anyway, I really, 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 really enjoy doing this. Um, I love watching, you know, you all as well uh, craft the ones that are on YouTube, my YouTube family. Um, there we go. So that's done. They're even. You want the circle to be even on both sides so it holds the... Uh, you know, glue gun properly, so that's how it'll be, like that, okay? Um, as you noticed on my other glue gun, I have, like, <clears throat> diamond wrap around that. The reason I put the diamond wrap around the mirror, which I'll show you again, <clears throat> this area, is I just didn't want to get cut, you know, on the mirror, on the raw edges. I didn't want to get 
get cut. But, I mean, you can decorate the whole thing if you want. I mean, that's up to you. I just, you know, put a little diamond wrap around there so it didn't look so blah. Um, you know, I put it here with a couple little embellishment type things there. Um, and, yeah, that's I left it like that. But this is such a great idea. They actually, on Pinterest, had, like, glass. You know, a little piece of glass from, like, a uh, tiny little picture frame. Um, something like that, but yeah, I just used the mirror because that's what I had on hand, and I think it's cuter. So, yeah. Um, now we're going to make the little box that is going to hold your glue sticks. Um, that's what we're going to do next. <clears throat> um, so, I'm actually going to take, this is the base, that's that piece. The other piece that I cut off from those, which would be this one, I'm actually going to use this. Um, let me clean this up a little for my box. So it actually, you know, it's not gonna, the box for the, uh, you know what I meant for the glue sticks. I mean, we know it's a box, but you know, the, uh, little box thing for the glue sticks to be put into. Um, so yeah, you're actually not wasting anything. I mean, I had that little piece of cardboard, so, okay. So we want it to be kind of rectangular. I mean, you know. So you're going to take your base of your box. This is how you're going to, you know, determine where the bends will be. Um, wow, this box is super strong. Um, okay. I need to turn it this way. I could have used that end. <laughs> this is what I mean. All righty. I'm going to make a curve there. I'm going to bend there. I say curve. I meant bend. Yeah, I'll tell you. It doesn't take me anywhere. Hmm. That one's a little too big on that end. Wide, I should say. Work with me here. Work with me. Okay. I want that first bend. There we go. There we go. It's not going to be absolutely perfect, but it is what it is. Um, let me see something here. Because that one had a little lip that went over. So, this one is not going to, I guess. Okay, so that's what we want. This. Because um, that's going to go on the end of our cardboard to hold our glue sticks. So what I would suggest while we're going to do all this stuff is we're going, I want to glue this. That way it has time to, you know, really adhere. Um, I'm just going to use hot glue for this. But, you know, so it has time to really get tacky and all that. Because we're going to go over it after and just, you know, redefine. Actually, no, I'm not going to glue it. I don't know what I was thinking. I apologize again. Because we need to put fabric on it. Cuckoo. Pardon me. Okay. So what I'm going to do now... Now that I have all my stuff cut out, I'm going to add the fabric. Um, now, what we're going to do for the fabric is just your hot glue gun. You could use adhesive, spray adhesive, it's up to you. I'm just going to use my hot glue gun. And I'm only, don't worry about the bottom. The bottom is, you're not going to see it. So, I mean, you can just do the top part cause, and embellish the sides. Um, I'm going to just let this flap over, you know, just so it... See what I mean? Just so it holds on to the back, but that's about as much as I'm going to do on the bottom. Um, yep, so I'm going to glue gun that, glue gun that, okay, hope, hot glue that down, and I'll get the other ones hot glued down, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, now I've completed um, putting the fabric um, bag, the fabric from the bag on all of the items. I put it on this one, and as you can see, the back, it's not covered. That's fine. We don't care. 
All we care about is what we can see in the front. So that one's done. Um, that's the little box. You know, it's not perfect, but for our um, glue sticks, you can see I met it right there. I put a ton of glue. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to put some um, diamond wrap on here for her. So you're not going to see that glue. So that was to reinforce it. And this is my base. Um, got the base all done. See how pretty that is? It's like satiny. And that's the back. So that's my base. And it's really sturdy. Um, so we're going to start by putting the base down and putting our part that we made for the glue gun to sit on. Um, I have to reinforce the folds I made because of the fabric. But okay. So we're going to glue our little holder piece for our glue gun on. Okay. So I'm going to start with this end. So don't be shy with the glue because you want this to really, really hold. So I'm putting a lot of uh, glue. I'm using uh, the Gorilla glue sticks. Um, okay, so once we get that there, we want to apply pressure. Make sure you're holding the other side um, again because you want it to adhere, um, you know, the exact spot we want it at um, and if you don't hold the other side it's not going to um, hold hi um, I apologize for that my camera shut off um, so I'm going to try and get this done as fast as I can before it happens again um, yeah so anyway we are holding this part down Okay, so just continue to hold that, grab some glue, and put it on the opposite side, um, just everywhere at this point, so it will hold. Um, what we don't hit, uh, you know, we can go back and do. Um, but again, I'm using a ton, a ton, a ton of glue. Um, because I want it to, you know, stick and not come up over time for her, you know. Okay. So, let's try that. I'm going to kind of slide it through the glue. Perfect. And then hold it. And the only reason I kind of slid it through the glue is to get all of the cardboard kind of wet <coughs> with the glue um, you know so it'll hold better see this side's already holding so that's beautiful uh, I don't know if I went far enough down I think I did how amazing this is such like an easy fun project I mean the only thing you really takes any bit of time it's just putting the fabric on, which that doesn't take too much time either. Um, it's not, you know, as time consuming as you would think. Um, and then, you know, we're just going to decorate it. Um, first, I'm going to cut that end off. I mean, if you don't want to, you can keep it, which I might do, and put the box on that piece. You see that? I might just put the box back there and keep it long. Yeah, maybe not. That would be kind of odd. Um, but yeah, so I might cut it off and just put this where it was supposed to go. But yeah, so, because that would be like perfect right there on the end. Let's see with my glue gun. Um, you see this? So, la la la, Hers is bigger, so. My glue gun's not that big. Anyhow, you know the purpose of it. <laughs> you know? So I was wondering what our mirror would probably look a little funky. So that's going to go right against 
this, uh, sorry, right against this part, your mirror, or your glass, whatever you're using, because that's where your glue gun sits. So you don't want it to drip on your fabric. So that's where it'll go, and then you can decorate. <clears throat> um, so I just might leave her little glue stand this long. Um, just for her, so she wants to lay down, you know, she's doing some work, and, you know, wants to lay her scissors there. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Pens, markers, or what have you. So, uh, yeah, I just might do that. So now we're going to glue our mirror. I'm going to add the glue right to the back of the mirror, because, again... We're going to push it right against the um, uh, cardboard piece right here. Right directly under the hole. So you want to put it right under and apply some pressure. So hold that down. I really like this fabric a lot. I feel like giving her mine. <laughs> Keeping this awesome one. <laughs> okay, now that's down. You see? This is what we have so far. Yep, yep. Look how pretty that is. That's so much prettier than mine. <laughs> oh my. Okay, now we're going to um, begin by gluing our begin. Finish up. Begin. What's wrong with me today? Finish up by uh, gluing our box on. Now you're going to put the glue all along the edges of the box as such. And ah, get out of here, the stringies. And then set it against the bottom. And then apply pressure. Isn't that annoying? The little stringies from the uh, glue gun. Super annoying. I tell you, I need my garbage bucket there just for those. <laughs> okay. I think we're just about done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some... Uh, pretty decorations to this and as soon as I am done doing that I will show you guys how it came out that is our glue gun holder with glue stick box and yeah so let me decorate it and I'll come right back once I've decorated it we well, had to take a little break so we can have some Grammy time. This is my little grandson. His name is Adrian. This is the one I told you I have to <clears throat> get my crafts done before he wakes up. And he's gotten up from his nap and right into Grammy. So I'm just going to take so a second to well, love on him for a moment. And then so I will show you the finished product. We'll be right back. <coughs> okay, our project is complete. I just wanted to show you the end um, finished product that I made for her. I did add some glue sticks in here so you guys can see. Um, you know, that that's what it's for. Um, again, I liked hers better than I like mine. <laughs> so, yeah, these are where the glue sticks go. Um, so that's that. So, see? And then we have the mirror to catch our glue when it falls off our gun. I decorated around hers a little because she's 11, you know? So she wants it girly for her, you know, her desk and her space at her house. So, and then I did some bling here in the front. You know, for her. Um, yeah, so that is my finished glue gun and glue stick holder um, from all Dollar Tree items, um, including the fabric is a Dollar Tree satin bag. Um, so that's that. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe. Please push the like button. 
subscribe, 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 and please, please, please push the like button. And thank you very much. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and God bless.